Jen Shaw has pleaded guilty to wire fraud and Andy Cohen is sharing his thoughts. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Shared News. We have all the details you need to know on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City stars Jen Shaw's arrest and Andy Cohen is reacting. But before we get into it, if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe to our channel as we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers here at Shared News. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, and it has been an ongoing case in the land of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City for housewife Jen Shaw. Now, Jen Shaw has pleaded guilty to charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud after months and months of trying to prove her innocence. Her original arrest was months ago documented on the last season of Salt Lake City Housewives. And this season, they are filming right now for season three, while all of the legal battles are continuing and Jen Shaw has pleaded guilty. Her case will be a spectacle again on the upcoming season, which has no air date, but it's likely to premiere sometime later this year. Andy, the executive producer for All Housewives and Things at Bravo, admitted he doesn't know how to feel about the sudden news. Andy Cohen admitted part of the reason he feels conflicted about Shaw's latest legal move is because he's grown so close to her and she just sent his daughter Lucy a baby gift. So they really have bonded as friends and colleagues throughout the last couple of years since Salt Lake City has started airing. Now, Jen Shaw and one of her assistants, Stuart Smith, were arrested during production for season two of Housewives last March for their connection to a nationwide telemarketing scheme. Jen Shaw originally pleaded not guilty to the charges and really tried to prove her innocence and convince everyone that she had nothing to do with this during the last Salt Lake City reunion, but just appeared in New York City court on Monday to change her plea. So Jen Shaw has admitted guilty and she could be facing up to 30 years in prison. Now, one thing Andy Cohen has pointed out on his radio show is that this situation is very different to Erica Girardi and Teresa Judice, two other housewives who have been involved in legal trouble in the past. Now, the reason why it's so different is because Erica's legal problems stem from her husband, Tom Girardi, who definitely committed a crime, while Teresa's legal problems stemmed from her husband, Joe Judice, who also definitely committed a crime and did the time. They were warped into it and it was a little unclear what their involvement was but considering they are the wife to the husbands they will have to answer to that and take accountability obviously Teresa's whole situation is now in the past she did the time Erica still remains to be unknown Jen Shaw in particular did commit wire fraud offering services with little no value to People above the ages of 65, they used an interstate telephones and emails. Jen Shaw did admit to knowing what she was doing was wrong and illegal, and her representative shares that she takes full responsibility for her actions and deeply apologizes to all who have been harmed. Jen Shaw is also sorry for disappointing her husband, children, family, friends, and supporters. Jen pled guilty because she wants to pay debt to society and put this whole ordeal behind her and her family. Jen could be serving between 14 to 30 years in prison. Her fate still remains unknown. My thoughts on this is that if you do the crime, you've got to do the time. I do believe Jen Shaw is a good person and that she is remorseful for her actions, but is she truly upset about it or is she just upset she got caught? Is this something that would have ever come to light if she didn't join the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? I don't know. It seems like she's been doing some shady things with her business and her assistant for a very long time and it's super disappointing as she is someone who I really enjoyed watching on Salt Lake City Housewives. I can't even imagine how her other housewives, friends, and co-stars are, you know, reacting to this and what they will say about it on the new season. Heather, Meredith, Lisa, Whitney. I mean, we all saw it went down when she first got arrested last season, and that was crazy, crazy television, but also insane to see that play out in real time. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with this court case and what Andy Cohen says about it in the future, how it plays out on Bravo. Let us know your thoughts on everything going on with Jen Shaw and the trial in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you have not already. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality. My social media handle's on the screen right now, so be sure to give me a follow. Come say hello. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will catch you in the next one. Bye.